In this video, I'll give you a tour of the Dollar Street website and how to scrape data from the website. So first, go to the website gapminder.org slash dollar dash street slash. You'll see a number of photos from families all over the world. You can choose families or you can look at specific things about the families in general. So maybe you want to look at armchairs or the backyards of families, or maybe you want to look at the beds of these families from all around the world. You can also narrow your search. If you don't want to look at the world, you can look at specific countries or continents. So maybe you only want to focus on people in Europe. Notice that not all data is available for all the countries. And then you can push OK, and your search will change to only families in Europe. If you click on a photo, you'll see the photo of one family, but you'll also learn about that family. And if you click on the arrows, you can move through different houses um, or different families from that country. If you look up at the top, you can see the little house, and this is supposed to represent the street that all these families live on, and then the little gray houses, lighter and darker, represent where that family is on the street and the house number if you will is how much the families are making in um, adult equivalents per month so it's not necessarily an income it's a calculation that's done to compare one family against another from continent to continent to kind of equal everyone out so they all kind of have the same units if you will so if you want to visit this family you can click on the bar and then you can learn more about one specific family. So you can see pictures of their backyard, see pictures of what a bike looks like, what do their car keys look like, what does cleaning equipment look like, and you can scroll through tens and tens of photos of this family. So you can see that their monthly income is about $3,000, and that's, again, per adult equivalent. So there is um, one to about three-ish adult equivalents in this family. So let's go back to other families in the world. Let's click on another family from Indonesia. Let's say we want to visit this family. And let's go ahead and scrape some data to put into a spreadsheet. So I've started a spreadsheet over here and we're gonna go through and collect data based on whatever variables we're interested in. So I'm gonna call this family number one, and this family is the home of Susila. They're in Indonesia. So continent is Asia, country Indonesia. Family size. I'm going to look at the photo and say that their family size is one, two, three, four, five, six. I've just counted the people in the photos. You can also read through the, the wording here and it says um, who is there living in the house. So I'm gonna say a family size of six. You might also read through that and decide that you only wanna count immediate family versus grandparents or exclude cousins or aunts, however you want to calculate your data. And then let's say I'm curious about the pets that this family has. So I'm gonna scroll through the pictures and see if they have any pets. I see goats. Oh, pet, they do have a pet. So I will say, um, yes, they do have a pet. You could also decide to get a different variable and say that you want to count how many pets they have. So income, we'll go back up to the top and their income in adult uh, equivalents, $268 per adult. Flooring, notice the little uh, descriptions of what we're looking at. So we can scroll through and look for the floor and click on the photo. Uh, it looks like it says, reading the directions, dirt or sand flooring. So we might consider this a dirt floor. Again, you might also create a variable that says, do you have, let's say, an installed floor versus a natural earth floor? And you could have a category like this. 
And let's say I want to look at the people's hands and I want to say, do they have any jewelry on their hands? So here's a picture of a palm of a hand. Here's a photo of the back of a hand. And I'll keep looking through pictures until I see a photo that has a hand with jewelry. And maybe they don't have any jewelry on. So I might use this as a categorical variable and say, no, there's no jewelry. So what I've done is I've used this one family as an example to show you how to set up data in a spreadsheet. So you have each family belongs to a row. And then I've also collected some quantitative data, family size and income, and also categorical data, country, uh, continent, and then some variables that I was interested in. There are so many variables that you can create and be interested in. I've had students look at lighting inside the house, what type of lighting it is, uh, what do they use to clean their teeth, uh, what about soap in the house. You can use all of these categories as inspiration. If you want to look more quickly for certain categories, you can choose let's say hands from around the world and now we have a photo of all of hands so you could go through and say that this is um, family number one two three four give a list and then there's the income which is always given for the data set and then look at people's hands and say oh they have bracelets these hands have rings and you can create your own variables and start comparing what happens from let's say country to country continent to continent so there you go. You have a brief overview of Dollar Street and how to scrape data from the website.